call service to any other uh, provider, any other service provider or business that want to, you know, enhance their productivity through call center. So sure. I've been studying and reading online, watching videos, and I came across yours. All so right. I said, let me put the call across to you absolutely. to know uh, how you can help me. Sure, sure, Chris, absolutely. So uh, that's quite good to hear. So are you looking for, I mean, what, what is your exactly, uh, you know, look out? Are you looking for international clients and from uh, Western countries and then helping them or how you how you exactly want to start or you're planning to planning for virtual call center come again i didn't get that clearly yes are you looking to set up a, like a proper call center with proper infrastructure and then get you know clients from western countries like us canada the international call center or are you thinking to start a virtual call center that means there will not be an infrastructure but people will be working from home. So what, what exactly are you looking for? Okay. I want to start small. Sure. Based on my uh, pocket. I want to start small and grow. Absolutely. Growing to an international standard will be is the uh, long-term goal. Uh -huh. But for now, I want to start the best way I can. With, Absolutely. Uh, the my lean budget so that's why i'm calling because i believe you have the best advice on how to go about it if, it, if starting virtual you will be the best for a small call center or if i'll have to get, get equipment sure. to start so i don't know which is the best ah, okay i understood i understand that completely uh, chris see now when we think about you know when you have a limited budget and when you want to start it from very small small scale then what I suggest or recommend is, is that first, you as an owner, you have to spend enough time on business development, customer relationship, which you can do it through several platforms like LinkedIn. Are you there on LinkedIn? Yes, I am on LinkedIn, but I am not active, but I can, I can reactivate my LinkedIn account. Sure. So why I'm saying or why I'm giving this advice is because you should be, first of all, you know, the very first priority is to get the clients for your business get the work and get some advance money from them so once you get some advance then you can actually invest in a lot of things because you said you have a limited budget so how you can start is, is yeah. that first get the clients or get the work I would even if I'm in your place what you know you should be doing is that you can find some work from you know a couple of websites like Upwork freelance there are a couple of websites from where you can get the work and once you have enough work, then hire two to three people, four people in your country, in your office, and then you can slowly start. So you don't have to worry too much on the budget part or the, you know, if you're limited on budgets, you can still start your work. The very important priority for you should be is to focus on business development. So all your time or efforts, whatever that you can, you know, you can invest your time you should be continuously on LinkedIn and contacting people talking to them like the same way like you know you and I are talking now so the similarly talking to them and and explain them your strengths your uh, you know what you can bring to the table for them and then accordingly people will start giving you some work okay okay before I is my thoughts before I'll contact for instance if you if you're a client now and I meet you up on LinkedIn and I put a call to you I should be able to have an infrastructure even if it is um, my laptop then maybe uh, a head a headphone or something to have I need to have something on ground whereby if you tell me okay if I decide to give you one slot to okay work for my cinema or sure. uh, a betting company or maybe a financial institution this is what we do this is what we do how right. do you come in right. i need to i need to have uh, at least a structure even if it is um, a virtual something that i'll work with absolutely so that's that's, that's what i'm asking what and what do i need Yes, you need the basically, you know, the very minimum thing that you can start with is at least, uh, you know, if you have a couple of laptops or desktop machines and then 
just start with that um, ma many things are nowadays available directly on your laptops for example view IP voice over IP from where you can make international calls uh, the soft phones you know you can easily get it you can directly download it for business development process or similar processes you can uh, directly use uh, CRM platforms which are which comes for free like you know there is a, a CRM called HubSpot which comes for free it doesn't cost you anything so you can use this uh, you know use uh, make a use of the softwares and just start with your laptop so what I always suggest is that you know start with what you have make something in it and then see the results because you don't have to be dependent on huge infrastructure or huge investment so start with what you have if you have you know one or two laptops just start with it and see how the result comes okay you you mentioned some software some things i can start with i only had soft phone what are the other softwares you think you'll advise i in install on my system to help me in the beginning stage when you uh, you know you are at this stage uh, I will suggest you that you know you should go for uh, voice over IP, VOIP. They said there are several VOIPs or uh, you know VOIP, yeah. voice over IP. So when you want to make international calls, you want to talk to some of the clients or prospects in the US, Canada. So you can actually use those uh, softwares. There are many of them. Yeah, you can you know just to recommend one, I will say that you know you can go for Ringtel. So that is one Ringtel. And then you can actually purchase the minutes like you know we use our cell phones similarly you can make a phone call in less than a couple of saints to the US or European countries you can talk to your prospect the second thing what you need is LinkedIn sales navigator which cost you around uh, 70 80 dollars but that's a very uh, LinkedIn what LinkedIn sales navigator so LinkedIn sales wow. navigator okay and it costs you around 70 to 80 yes so it costs you can around you can you list can you list these things on whatsapp for me because i'm sure sure it is kind of difficult for me to get them clearly as you're saying them absolutely no i can i can help you with that i can uh, message you all the list you know what is required but since you have asked me this okay. question yeah since you have asked me this question let me just you know help you out help you out so VOIP is okay. the one, LinkedIn Sales Navigator, then you need a CRM platform, you need a customer relationship management platform. So you can okay. actually save, yes, save all the details of your prospects in that CRM and then you can send them auto-generated emails or you can automate a lot of things, you know, where you can communicate with your prospects and that will help you to bring more business. Okay. So these three so things... I need a soft phone. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Soft phone, LinkedIn, and then CRM. This is immediately to start with. So these three things you will need it. Soft phone, CRM platform, LinkedIn navigator. That's right. That's right. Yes. So these three things. LinkedIn navigator. Right. And then, then the VOIP, the VOIP, which, what's the name of the application for VOIP? Ringtel, R-I-N-G, Ringtel. Sorry? It's R-I-N-G, I will WhatsApp you and or also I will put it in comments, but the name is R-I-N-G, okay. Okay. Ringtel. Yes. Okay. So, these three okay. you can start with okay. and then once you have your team, once you get a couple of people on board, then you will need a lot of uh, other software tools, especially for data security, for call distribution. You will need there a lot of other softwares like, you know, Zendesk. So, I recommend using all those which will be used, you know, for different purpose. But that's when you actually have minimum five or ten people to, you know, in your team. Okay. okay. Uh, do you mind if I call you on a normal phone call so Absolutely. I can hear you clearly? I Absolutely. don't mind. Absolutely. You can call me on this number. No problem. Okay. I'm just, I'll am just. i call you right away now. I'll just call you. Yeah. Just hear me, Chris. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right. Seems there was a disturbance.
so he's calling us back all right so meanwhile we can just talk you know the these questions were mostly related you know which tools are required so i believe uh, these are a couple of tools which are really helpful for any call center setup and once you have more number of people on board then you need call distribution system or the dialers so especially for uh, data security you will need a lot of things which are required but in the beginning stage i think i always recommend let's not make it complex uh, let's try to make it super simple as you know it's possible for you guys so what you can do is start with a couple of free platforms that you don't even have to invest in that and uh, you know focus stay focused on business development and once you get it all right here he calls again just one second hello hello yes can you hear me now hello yes chris can you hear me now yes yeah i can hear you all right so go ahead you have uh, some more questions Yes, Chris. Do you have any more questions? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I, 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 I. Yes. You know, this is this is uh, this is I. It's a dream. This is one of uh, the my dreams in life to have the establishment, the call center establishment. You know where we can where I can support businesses and also run charity through. You know, so need to give up to society. Chris, your voice no. is breaking. I I can barely yeah. Yeah, hear you. Uh, I think okay, the can you hear me now? Okay, yeah, this is better. Let's try it again. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. I said, this is like a, this is like a long time dream for me. Because mm -hmm. I've been wanting to, right from when I came back from India to Nigeria, I've been trying to I've been wanting to start this, but you know, uh, as time goes in life, you need to pay bills and you need to take care of yourself as a man. So I had to take some other jobs to at least be able to pay my bills. But for now, I want to, you know, have this on the side too. I've waited too long to start this. That is why I am this serious about it. So Absolutely. I was wondering what, if I want you to, like a mentor to me, how... If it is to be possible. Hello. Hello. Yes. So. Can what? you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. So, what is what is the question? I could hear it that you know. Yes, I think uh, we are having some disturbance in the phone line. Uh, however, uh, it's it's important that you know you guys. Many times, what happens is this. When you are in conversations and when you are in a lot of thoughts, it's important that you guys actually start. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Can you hear okay, me? Okay, yes. now. Yeah, right. I can hear you now. This is perfect. Yes. So go ahead. Uh, okay. You can ask your question. Okay. So if I if I install this, if I get these applications and install them, how do I link them? How do I get? How do I configure them to, you know, to uh, to? Well, how do they access the online or online application? Okay. See, your last part I couldn't hear it clearly, but I think your question is that how do you configure these applications? That's what your question was, right? So let let me answer you because this at least two applications which I suggested you the LinkedIn Sales Navigator and the CRM these are web based applications you can directly use it in the browser and the second application View IP or soft phone soft phone you can just simply download it on your laptop and then you can use it uh, the one which I suggested is a Ringtail you can simply download that application and then you can start making phone calls you have to purchase those minutes. And once you get the minutes, you can uh, start using uh, that soft phone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Once I get, uh, 
that I possibly get a hold, a hold in my head. Maybe you can walk me up from there. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. I that is why I recommend you that you know start with super small and then start putting the efforts, start contacting people, and then you will see the results once you actually start getting into it. You will see a lot of results. Uh, so I will suggest you that you know maybe in this month, uh, since the, there is a pandemic, look, people are still at home, and now the offices will start opening. Why don't you actually start getting on LinkedIn contact? you know minimum 50 to 100 people on linkedin talk to them and explain what you can do for them how you can help them to save the cost and what you know what services you can offer them and i'm sure that you know the discussions will start showing some results okay on linkedin yes on linkedin sales how yes. do i how do i get people talking on linkedin linkedin is not like a twitter or facebook where you can uh, make a post and people will see it I think LinkedIn is more like where people put up their profiles and others come there to see. See, this LinkedIn, you cannot directly talk to them. I mean to say that, you know, you can have several conversations with a lot of people because it's a professional networking website. So you can find, yeah. you can find your prospects, say from a country, US, or maybe from a particular state like New York. And you can just find all decision makers and company owners. You can find all of them. And once you find them, then you can actually start connecting with them, uh, ha do your introduction, what you do for them, what not everything, and then start generating uh, okay. te telephonic appointments. So you can actually get on phone calls with them and then you can have further discussion with these companies. So once you do this introduction okay. with, with minimum 50 to 100 companies, then you will actually see the conversation or the conversions, you know, out of 100 people, how many are actually interested or you know what what do they exactly consider about your proposal what you know what you're offering whatever the services so how do they consider it so accordingly you can respond to them and then take it you know convert that into a business deal okay 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 all right thank you yeah thank you very much absolutely yeah. you're okay. most you welcome and about the tools yeah. and list if you require it i will also message you on whatsapp so you can use okay. that for your reference okay all right thank you all right. very much thank you chris thank you so much bye, bye thank you all right so that was a really good conversation with uh, chris and i think uh, this is where you know usually people they think that they have this business ideas in their mind but they are having difficulties to execute it so I always suggest that start super small, start with what you have. There are a lot of uh, tools which are freely available online. Make a use of it and start, you know, contacting people, talk to them, offer them because getting a, you know, small, small size business or getting some clients on board, it's absolutely not difficult. Uh, you can easily get it done. The only thing is you need to have certain tools. You should have an idea about those tools and how to use them and start contacting people easily you will get it there so that was really good if you guys wish to talk to me directly you can whatsapp me my whatsapp number is also mentioned in the comments so you can directly whatsapp me and you can talk to me anytime thank you very much